What is up guys, today Apple released iOS 13.4, the official release. So this is super exciting because this is likely the last major version of iOS 13 that we see. We might get subsequent versions of iOS 13.4, like iOS 13.4.1 or 0.2, but those will likely be covering bugs or security patches, some things like that. But as far as major releases, this is likely the uh, the only one that's left in the iOS 13 life cycle. So this is a pretty major update. Now in this update, we did find a lot of new features and changes in iOS 13.4. And then also in this video, we'll be covering the performance of the CPU, GPU, and also the battery performance as well. And of course, at the very end, we'll give you guys our kind of recommendation on if you guys should be updating to your device, whether you have an older device like an iPhone 6 Plus, or maybe a newer device like the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, before we get into today's video, if you guys are super excited for iOS 13.4, and then also excited for iOS 14, do not forget to leave a like on this video. Also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button. That will give you updates as soon as any content on iOS 13 is released or iOS 14. And we have a lot of other product reviews as well on the channel that you will not want to miss out on. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out iOS 13.4, the official release of iOS 13.4 from Apple. Are you getting this really annoying spinning ball of death on your Apple computer? Yes, we have all been there, but I've actually been using a program called Clean My Mac X, and ever since I started using that program, I've never seen that ugly rainbow cursor again. Clean My Mac X allows you to clean up space on your hard drive, protect your Mac from malware, and speed up your device to work as it did on day one of purchase. There's also a ton of other features as well, so go check out the link down below for more info. Okay, so we have iOS 13.4 loaded up on our device here. Let's go ahead and check out some of the new features and changes. So if we go into the settings app, then onto general, and then to about, go down in this menu and you'll see new modem firmware. There is quite a significant jump in modem firmware from iOS 13.3.1, now onto iOS 13.4. Uh, the modem firmware for the iPhone 11 Pro Max is 1.05.28 now. If you guys have a different modem firmware, that is likely because you have a completely different device so modem firmware will not always match up because modem firmware is built for each in like each individual model of iphone that is released now if you go into the wallpaper menu and you go ahead and select one of the stock apple wallpapers that um, can switch between dark and light theme modes you'll actually see that the icon has moved from the left hand side now to the center so everything is a little bit more centered here you obviously have the preview of the light and dark themed uh, wallpapers split down the center and on that center apple is kind of representing exactly um, the dark mode and light mode size with with that icon so very good change here it makes it very aesthetically pleasing and also just centers it up a little bit so that you're not wondering which is light and which is dark. Now, specifically for AirPods, if you go ahead and connect any pair of AirPods that you may have and you go into the Bluetooth menu, um, go into your AirPods and you now have more options down there at the bottom. You have an option to disconnect and an option to forget this device while your AirPods are actually connected to your iPhone or iPad. So this is actually very nice to have. You don't have to totally disconnect from your, um, your device to basically forget the AirPods Pro or AirPods that you have. You can do this all while it's connected. Now in iOS 13.4, if you go into the TV menu in the settings app, you have more options. So you have streaming options to use cellular data. If you turn that on, you can actually open up this cellular menu and select high quality or data saver streaming options. So if you guys want to save a little bit on data, I do suggest doing the data saver plan while streaming, or if you have unlimited data, unlimited speed and everything like that, do the high quality. Now, if you back out of that menu, you actually have more in menu options here as well. Uh, within the TV uh, menu in the settings app, you have download options as well. So you can turn cellular data on for there, and you have more options here for cellular downloads. Now, if you go into the accessibility menu, 
and then you go into the Siri menu at the very bottom, you actually have a new option here. I'm not going to say anything because that might set off uh, things in your home or in my home as well, but you have an added option here at the bottom to always listen for that special phrase. Now this will also listen for it when your phone is face down. So that's a new option presented here in iOS 13.4. And I know a lot of you guys will definitely appreciate that. Now in the Stocks app, when you go into the Stocks app at the very bottom, you'll notice that the Yahoo logo has now been changed to Yahoo Finance, very small change within the Stocks app. Now in the Messages app, if you go to the Memoji sticker option, you'll see that Apple has added new emoji stickers. So there's several to choose from here. Most of the new ones will be located at the very bottom. So you have a, an option to uh, have a MacBook, like you reading a MacBook, um, some different options here, different expressions, and then towards the top, you have some new kind of expressions for emotion and everything like that. So I'm glad that Apple is continuously working on Memoji stickers. Hopefully they add more and hopefully, fingers crossed, we have new Animoji in the near future. Now in the files app, iCloud file sharing has returned to iOS 13. So if you um, hold on a specific file that you want to share, hold on that file and this menu will pop up. You can go into share and share it with anyone that you want to within your contacts, or you can go ahead and share it through the various apps that Apple allows you to share those files through. The mail app has been adjusted very slightly here. The toolbar at the bottom has now changed. So a very minor change, but a very useful one just because the toolbar is a major uh, kind of point of focus for Apple. And they readjusted that to make it a little bit more streamlined for a better user experience. Now, if you go into the shortcuts app and you want to go ahead and add a shortcut, um, you can search for Shazam and it will actually pop up even though you don't have the app, um, you can actually Shazam different things. So if you run that shortcut, it can search for the lyrics to a specific song or anything like that straight through the shortcuts app or your dedicated short shortcut that you create uh, and you don't actually have to have the Shazam app on your phone. I love more development of more apps like this to be able to use those apps and its interface through shortcuts without having to download it. That would be really, really cool. So you can get added functionality on your phone, but not have a bunch of apps laying around. Now, there has been some changes to the measure app. So if you force touch the measure app, the icons there on the right hand side next to measure and level are now filled in. They're a little bit uh, less filled in before in iOS 13.3.1. Now, if you open up the measure app itself, um, a, the animation has now changed. So this is the traditional animation. And then you have this added 3D animation there as well. So a very slight change here within the measure app. Now, when you go on to iPadOS 13.4 and you use a mouse for the uh, kind of like movement or operation of your iPad, you'll notice that things are working a lot faster. Mouse support has been updated to provide a much better experience with the mouse on the iPad. So definitely check that out if you are a heavy mouse user on your iPad. It's a lot smoother now in iOS 13.4 or iPadOS 13.4. Now, one thing that I've noticed within iOS 13.4 is the assistive touch menu works a lot faster. So everything is working a little bit more snappy within this assistive touch menu, especially when you go into device and more options there. Everything is working a lot faster within this kind of UI experience of the assistive touch feature. So I'm really liking how this is working now. Before it was a little bit laggy. It had some issues with um, you know different controls. They were lagging definitely throughout this UI. So I'm really excited excited to see that Apple is continuing development on this just because a lot of people actually go ahead and use these options. So check that out. If you use the accessibility menu, the operation and controls are a lot smoother and a lot more responsive. Also very quickly, guys, if you want this wallpaper link in the video description down below. Okay, so past those new features and changes, we actually have a few more for you guys. So now in iOS 13.4, Apple has allowed app developers to basically create Mac apps and iOS apps 
and have universal purchases between them. So this is a major ordeal because I know a lot of people would have a Mac app and then an iOS app and they'd have to purchase subscriptions or kind of buy the app for two of them uh, for the two different platforms. And this allows the developers to maybe raise the price to a reasonable price level, but have accessibility on both platforms, Mac OS and iOS as well. So this is a pretty major uh, kind of update, a very important uh, kind of progression in the app store. So I really like to see um, the kind of like combined purchases between Mac and iOS. Now, speaking of App Store purchases, the Apple Watch now has the capability to make in-app purchases straight from the watch. So this is pretty important just because a lot of people would have to go to their phone or something like that to make those purchases. But now with uh, the kind of like passcode and everything like that that you have on your Apple Watch, um, you can access in-app purchases straight from your Apple Watch. Now, as far as iOS 13.4 goes, CarPlay likely received the biggest update here just because there were so many advancements made in CarPlay. CarPlay now works a lot faster, a lot smoother, and everyone's just enjoying the experience of CarPlay now on iOS 13.4. Developers have been playing around with CarPlay and iOS 13.4 and have noticed that CarPlay is a lot better of an experience, a lot smoother, and there is there is some like major tweaks within a CarPlay that make the usability of CarPlay a lot, lot better. Now, also with CarPlay, we did see a car key kind of feature come in beta one of iOS 13.4. Now, this is just the API, so it's not official, but Apple likely in the future will add capabilities to iOS 13 and of course iOS 14 to use your phone as a key for certain uh, cars. So I think BMW is already doing this. It's a very new technology, but it seems like Apple is definitely investing into it by placing it into the API of iOS 13.4. So definitely look for that in the near future. It would be really cool to unlock, drive your car and everything like that straight through your phone so you don't have to carry your car keys around. Now, another thing that we found within iOS 13.4 is unreleased Power Beats animations. So you know the animation that pops up when you want to connect AirPods or other Beats headphones. It's basically a spinning animation of the device. Now here we see the animation of the new Power Beats uh, device spinning like it would uh, trying to connect to your iPhone. So this is a kind of major leak, but it's also an indication that we will be seeing Power Beats really, really soon because Apple is kind of progressively put that animation within the iOS 13.4 release. Okay, so those were all of the new features and changes that we found within iOS 13.4. Of course, if you guys noticed any that we missed here in today's video, leave those in the comment section down below. While you guys are there, I'd love to know your thoughts on the new features and changes that we found here in today's video. What are kind of like your most favorite new features and what are your least favorite? I'd love to know in the comment section down below. But let's get on to the performance aspect of iOS releases. iOS 13.4, likely the last official kind of major release of iOS 13. We definitely want to make sure that performance is very, very high on iOS 13.4. So let's move on to the CPU and GPU side of things because that's what's most important when it comes to iOS performance. Now the CPU saw about a three to 5% increase between older devices and newer devices. Now CPU performance really doesn't play a major role in how the functionality of your phone works. The CPU performance will likely reflect better battery life and will get back into that topic a little bit later. But moving on to GPU performance, we actually saw a solid seven to 9% increase in GPU performance between older devices and newer devices, the newer devices getting that top tier percentage mark of 9%. So GPU performance is definitely on the rise and it is visible that iOS 13.4 is faster than the previous official release of iOS 13.3.1. So iOS 13.4 is looking like the fastest iOS 13 version that we've seen here in the iOS 13 life cycle. This is very, very exciting, especially for people with older devices. GPU performance is on the rise, which does affect the actual kind of use case performance of iOS 13 
because that is what you're visually seeing is GPU performance when you're swiping and everything like that. If you're seeing a lot of lags and stutters, the GPU performance is probably very, very poor. So it's very nice to see that CPU and GPU performance have been worked on and increased here within iOS 13.4. Let's move on to battery performance because that is a major topic as well because people with older devices want to make sure that battery performance is still high on some of the last versions of iOS 13. Okay, so moving on to battery performance, and I have some not so great news for you guys having older devices. Now, if you own an older device, I can't say that you will see an increase in battery performance. There didn't seem to be any improvements with battery performance on iOS 13.4, but if you have an iPhone 8 Plus or newer, battery performance has risen just a little bit. So with the increased GPU performance, I'd say that's a very good trade-off, and we're getting a fast iOS 13.4 and then a very stable one as well, but we're also getting solid battery performance. So I think Apple has definitely delivered here in this update. There's just not too much to say about battery performance because really nothing has changed, but considering nothing has changed, even though we're getting better performance on the GPU side of things, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Now let's move on to our recommendation here. The trade-offs, we have a lot of new features and changes, but also potential downfalls when it comes to iOS 13.4 or any update that we see from Apple. Now I would say hold off on updating if you don't have any issues whatsoever. Honestly, the new features and changes are not that impressive unless you absolutely have to have them, but it's best if you have an older device to maybe hold off on today's update because it might bring a lot of problems that you don't need and there likely isn't going to be another update for a very long time and you'll be stuck with the performance bugs or whatever that you're experiencing bad with this update. You might be experiencing that for a little while. Now, if you have a newer device, you're only getting uh, kind of like more features here in today's update and you're also getting higher performance as well, even more than older devices. So I definitely say this is a very good update and your devices will likely be compatible with iOS 14 betas, which are are coming very, very soon. So guys, I would recommend if you have a newer device to update, but if you have an older device, maybe hold off on updating for just a little while, maybe a week to see if people are having any problems. So guys, that was the iOS 13.4 update. I want to know your thoughts on this update in the comment section down below. I'd love to get the conversation started there about iOS 13.4. And of course, if you have any questions or anything like that, I'll be sure to answer those in the comment section down below. So guys, thank you so much for watching this update video. If you liked it, leave a like on today's video. Also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button. We'll have future content on iOS 14 product reviews on the channel. We have some awesome content coming up that you will not want to miss. So definitely get subscribed and hit that notification bell button. Again, guys, thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll be catching you guys in some future content.